Hi there. In the last video, we looked at associations and we built an author's model and associated it to books. Now let's have a look at what that's done to our API. So if I curl localhost 3000, oops, API B1 books. So this is our index action. You can see the API still works, it returns the book ID, the title, but then there's no longer an author because we removed the author string field. And we have the standard rails created and updated at, and then we have this author ID, which isn't particularly useful because we don't have an API to get the author using the ID. And I mean, that one, is, that one specifically doesn't have an author set, but these uh, more recent ones do. So you can see that the author ID is working. So the author is uh, associated correctly. It's just that we're not returning that data in the API. So in this video, I want to talk about representers or they're sometimes called serializers, which is a way to control the data that our API returns. And it's useful for doing things like uh, returning the data from other models or perhaps removing fields that we don't want to return. For example, the created and updated at date, we might not want to return that because that's not useful to our API client. So a representer is just a Rails service object, which takes in some data and returns a hash that's ready to be represented by the controller. So let's look at how we might use that. If I go to the books controller, and this is the index action that we're calling, we might do something like uh, books representer we'd initialize it with books, which would be uh, just, in this case, all of the books we have in our system. So initialize it with the books, and then we can say as JSON, which is a convention for returning a Ruby hash that's essentially ready to be converted into JSON by the controller. So when we call render JSON, it's going to take that hash, convert it into JSON and return it to the API client. Let's now look at how we would implement the books representer. So I'm going to create a new directory under app. So we'll have representers and inside there we'll have a new file books representer and so this will be a regular Ruby class books representer and we will be able to initialize it so initialize with books and we'll assign the books to an instance variable so that we can access it inside the class. And we'll create a private attribute reader. Basically, this will just allow us to access books via the books method, but it will only be available inside the class. We've made it private so that um, uh, callers that are calling it outside the class can't access it. Um, it's not a huge deal, but it's just a nice convention um, to keep class interface, interfaces small. Then we'll have the as JSON method, and that will return some kind of hash. So in this case, we have multiple books. So what we actually need to do is 
map over those books. So what this map is going to do is take the array of books and for each iteration it's going to pass the oops this should be the book so we'll iterate over and we'll return a hash that will be composed from the book and so we'll have an array of active record book objects coming in and what we'll create out of that is an array of hashes so the hash that we return is eventually going to become the objects that get returned from our API. So we need to think about what fields we want in the API. So I think we want the ID. I think that's still useful. So that should be the book ID. We want the name of the book. So that should be the title of the book. And we want the author first name, which is book. So that remember this is now coming from the author model. So we have to reach from the book to the author to get the first name field. And this is where the representers coming coming in useful because we're taking fields from other models and putting them into one API response. Author last name. And let's also do the author's age. So author age. There we go. And now if I call this API, so I get an error, undefined constant books. That looks like it's in the controller. Oh yeah, so I accidentally pluralized this. It should be book. Let's try that again. Just clear the terminal. Now I get another error. Undefined method first name for nil class. Yeah, so this is because I'm iterating over uh, the books and then I'm calling book author first name. Now the problem is because we added the association only recently. We have some old data which doesn't have, we have some old books which don't have authors. So Rails would do book to author, which would return nil. And then we're trying to call first name on nil. So what I'm going to do is jump back over to the terminal. I'm gonna open the Rails console and I'm just going to delete the old uh, records. And what I can do is a quick um, select so I can do if I select the book based on the author so select is a another Rails enumerable method similar to map only this time what it will do is um, select the records based on the um, based on the block so I'm going to iterate over the books and I'm only going to choose books where the book.author ID is nil. So that will return a list of, so you can see that that returns three books, but we have a total of five books in the system. So those three books that are uh, being returned by the select, they all have author as uh, nil and they are the ones that are causing the error. So what I'm going to do is destroy those. Oops. Uh, and sorry, I can't just call destroy because it's an array. I need to actually iterate back over the array and call destroy on them. So I need to do um, map. Uh, 
There we go. So now I should only have two books in the system. I'll exit out of the console and I'll run the call request again. And there we go. So now I have the ID, the title of the book, the author's first name, the author's last name, and the author's age. Now, there's one other thing that would be nice to do, which is I'd like to combine the first name and the last name into a single string. So, and then the result would be similar to the way we had our API before. And the way I can do that is I'll just have a field called author name and I'll create a, um, a Ruby string and I'll interpolate in the author first name, a bit of space, and then the book author dot last name. And then I can remove these two first name and last name fields. And then this line is a little long and verbose. So what I can do is create a dedicated method to just returning the author name. So I'll take this. This will be author name. And that's another nice feature of representers is that this kind of logic for um, just sort of representing and formatting data uh, can get complicated and you can have it all abstracted away out of the controller into this representer class. So let's try the controller again to make sure it works. Oops. Um, oh yeah, so I think the issue here is that I need to pass the um, the book because books is available globally to the representer, but the book is only available inside the block. So what I need to do is pass the book into author name. Let's try that again. There we go, we'll just clear the console. So now we have the ID, title, author name, and author age. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video on representers useful and I'll see you in the next one.